Maya and I'm back with another YouTube video and as you can see by the title we're doing a winter shower routine today this is how I want to kick off vlogmas only because I really like making these videos as far as watching how it progresses as I make them but doing it this took me forever so you guys are getting quality content right here but as y'all can see the first thing that I'm doing is a pre-wash I do my pre-wash with my Dove um, sensitive bar soap sometimes I use different soaps it honestly just depends on what I'm feeling like pre-washing with but I always tend to go towards a bar soap instead Instead of like a body wash or something to pre-wash with and we're getting the legs and everything here the videos that I have that are getting ready to come out are gonna be such good quality because I've learned how to really get into my editing a little bit more and I'm still not even at my best yet so y'all y'all are gonna see it progress as time moves on I end up getting my hair wet well not my hair but the shower cap really wet because during this video I promise you I was barely even having the shower water on and I turned it on on accident. This stuff right here that I'm using, the glycolic um, acid wash, I love, love, love it so much. I don't know if you guys can see too much here, but I do have back acne and I get the back acne from both of my parents actually. And during the winter time, it starts to flare up because during the summertime, sometimes it flares, but winter time for some reason, since my skin is more on the dry side during that time, it starts getting crazy this right here is some coffee scrub i forgot the exact place that i got this from i think this might be goddess of the sea but it's my mom's and my mom always gives me all her scrubs because she never uses them and the glove that i'm using in this video i got it from burlington for about two or three dollars a lot of the stuff that i use in this video are from burlington so not burlington marshall's so the uh, loofah was from marshall's that's from marshall's and a whole bunch of other little things i actually hate this um shaving cream for whatever reason and i hate the razor the razor cuts me but we had to get the job done for this video i am a is it chic or is it no it's the venus is that what it's called I don't know you guys know the really big razors like I have it in blue I don't know if I've used it before on a video I think I have but those are the ones that I like using and they have to have a minimum of four blades I'm pretty sure this one has three and it just nicks me like you see it it looks like I'm going fast and I am but that's because when I use my other razor like I can go that fast this stuff right here is the cinnamon bun from philosophy their stuff i the smell is okay i'm really just using it for the aesthetic of the video but it's an okay smell it's giving like a wintry type of vibe like it's cold outside so that's why we're using it i want to try something more pepperminty for the winter time so if you guys know anything like that let me know this feminine wash right here is probably one of the best feminine washes i've ever used the fragrance is literally non-existent and it just makes me like feel super clean all the other ones are one really expensive and two they just i don't know some of them have little tiny fragrances in them that aren't really like I don't know they're not really big fragrances but they're still enough that I can tell that there's something in it and anything can easily throw off my pH balance I was supposed to do this before when I was shaving my legs but I honestly had forgot because I like shaving before I wash my body but I have forgot to do it so we just had to put it in real quick <laughs> Okay, now we're on to the skincare portion of my shower routine. In this part right here, I'm using the Panoxyl 
benzoyl peroxide with 10%. Um, I forgot to show it in the beginning when I show you guys all my little products. And yes, I'm using a lot. I usually don't use that much, but I have a subscription where they send it to me every three months. And I haven't been using it as quickly as I should be. So I've started to use just a little bit more. A little goes a long way with this stuff though. So you really do not need this much. But I found these cute, cute, cute heart-shaped sponges on Amazon after I saw them on somebody's TikTok. If y'all hear people driving in the background, please do not mind it. I am not going to keep remaking these voiceovers, so we're just going to have to go with the flow. But yeah, I do them in circular motions always when I'm washing my face just to make sure I'm getting it evenly and not leaving any streaks. I feel like it's just better for blood flow-wise when you do it that way. And then I use another two that are just wet to get everything off of my face just so I'm not contaminating different things because usually I use washcloths but washcloths kind of are too rough for me and a lot of the time I'll use them to wipe down multiple different parts of my face when my face is dry and then while it's wet so this is just so I won't contaminate it. Okay, as of recently, I've been trying to add in some toner to my skincare routine. So I'm going in with Versed, and this is their brightening solution, I'm pretty sure it's called. Everything will be linked down in the description box. Per usual, y'all know I don't gatekeep, but getting it out is actually kind of difficult. I was struggling a little bit, as y'all saw, but it went okay. I'm just going to get a cotton round, cotton pad, whatever you guys call it, and wipe it over my face. I clean my face very well, so there was literally nothing left on it, and plus the solution is yellow, so it wouldn't it would have looked dirty regardless, but I could tell there was no dirt on my face, so there was no need in showing you guys. This is their Dew Point Moisturizing Cream, I think, and then that was the clarifying serum those two things the moisturizer I love if you guys have listened to my videos before when I do skincare I don't like using moisturizers unless they're hundred percent natural but this one actually feels like a gel going on my skin so it doesn't feel like that tacky sticky kind of feeling which I hate and then the clarifying serum is not oily either it's very I don't know it's light it's like a gel going on your face like if you were to get aloe vera gel and like dilute it with water that's basically how both of these things feel and then they dry up super duper quick your face is not left feeling sticky or anything and then you're good to go and all of these things are made to keep your skin clear so if you guys have any acne problems go to verse and I'm pretty sure I have a discount code for you guys I'm gonna go check Okay, next up is my Rin. This is the Overnight Glow Dark Spot Corrector. So I have a lot of dark spots because I've had a lot of acne. My skin is definitely getting way better, but in my problematic areas, which is my jaw, my forehead, and sometimes like my T-zone and my cheeks, it started spreading to my cheeks recently, which I have no clue why, but those are my problem areas right now i put it there and just rub it in really good i don't really do too much just a thin layer and the only reason why it's showing up with that white cast is because of all the other things on my face usually it just glides on and then blends in perfectly Okay, lastly with my skincare routine is this Differin gel, and Differin has Adapalene in it. You can get the Adapalene directly from your dermatologist in like higher doses, but this is the one that they sell over the counter. It definitely, definitely, definitely worked because beforehand when I was not using this, my breakouts would be super sporadic, and I'm pretty sure the only reason I'm breaking out as of right now is because I've been drinking a whole bunch of soda, but that is such a good retinol, I think they're called, in order to keep your skin super duper clear and your texture is super duper smooth. Now, y'all already know this part right here. You got to put on deodorant after you get out the shower. That's just what you do next up i have this hyaluronic acid lotion and this is just supposed to keep you know wrinkles away i don't have to worry about those anytime soon but we're preventing them before they even start keeps wrinkles away keeps your skin tone even keeps it smooth all of those wonderful good things
Next, I have my Champagne Toast, and this is taking forever to focus, but Champagne Toast is one of my favorite fragrances from Bath & Body Works because it's like a light, fruity, floral type of smell, so it doesn't do too, too much. And after that, we have Into the Night and In the Stars. Those are my top, top, top ones, okay? I just use this for scents, not really for any type of moisturizing. It does do good at moisturizing, but I usually use a lotion before and then a lotion for scent. So the before one was the hyaluronic acid because that one is actually going to change my skin. Lastly, I have my whitening lotion again taking forever to focus But sometimes I use those under my arms and I definitely use it on my knees and my elbows I'm using it on my elbows in this video I have not seen a difference yet because I don't use it that often, but I will keep you guys updated I know I wanted to try the kojic acid soap So I'm probably gonna start doing that if this doesn't do anything, but yeah I'm African American child, the elbows be a little pigmented sometimes, it's okay, but I just want my skin tone to be a little bit more even, so that's the only reason why I use it. <laughs> That's going to be it though for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Keep tuning in every week Sundays at 12 p.m. I know this video is not getting posted then but it was a whole bunch of stuff going on yesterday that I literally could not film my video. But yeah keep on watching. Vlogmas is going to be lit and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.